everyone doing? What a beautiful day. Don't you think so? Well, anyway, today's just uh, another one of those uh, video uh, show and tell uh, things, you know. And I've got a few things I just wanted to show. It's not a long, uh, uh, you know, a lot of stuff, but it's enough. So I hope everybody will uh, sit back and enjoy. Um, this first item I have, um, anyway, my name is Brendan. I'm from Wish Me Luck Thrifting. Sorry about that. And, um, you know, I shop all around and pick up a few things here and there to uh, sell on uh, eBay and my whatnot sales. So anyways, this first item I have is a beautiful um, item. It's a... Uh, Well, it's, it could be a planter. You use it for whatever you want or just a display piece. It's beautiful. This has no chips or cracks, and it's, uh, it, it's a nice, colorful piece for, you know, spring, summer. Even though our summer is winding down now. It's really got... The temperature really dropped last night, so it was pretty, um, you know, pretty chilly. But anyways, this piece is a beautiful piece. Like, I, I just picked this up um, when I was out on a, the week before last, out on Senior's Day. Not this week, but the last week. And, um, or two weeks ago, one or the other. And then I, I just picked this up because I thought it was so pretty. It reminded me of one that I already had, but just a little, you know, slight difference in it. And then, then I looked it over in the store and it didn't have any chips or cracks or anything. But I thought, oh, wow, that's a pretty pretty piece to put a nice little plant in. So I decided to take it. And then when I was getting ready for my whatnot sale, I took it out because I was going to sell it on whatnot, you know, put it in the sale. And uh, then when I finally decided to to turn it over and really look at it, to write down, you know, the information about it, I realized that it is a... It's a Clarice Cliff, I think her name is Clarice Cliff, piece of uh, pottery, ceramic. It's beautiful. I didn't know who it was by. I didn't even look, I guess, when I picked it up. I was just looking at it because I thought it was so pretty. But anyways, this is Clarice, um, Clarice Cliff, it says on it. It says Newport Pottery Company, and it says England, and then there's got... I don't know if that's an M or what that is, a little red uh, symbol on it. So it is marked on the bottom. I, like I said, I found out that it was a Clarice, Clarice Cliff, C-L-I-F-F, -F, item. And I know they made these, I think they stopped selling, uh, or she stopped making or selling the items back in... Um, 1964. I think they started in the 1900s to the 1964. And um, she made some really beautiful pieces, colorful. So when I did really see the name on this, I was hesitant at first because I know a lot of her pieces are so colorful and different. I didn't know that, you know, she made these type of pieces. But that was a really nice uh, find. You know, it's got the color here. It's really nice. And it's really well done. And like I said, this marked on the bottom. I did look these, I looked it up. You know, they can go for a fairly good amount, these pieces. I guess these are rare pieces that you really can't find all the time. I was really surprised that I even had it. I didn't even know what it was, you know. That's how much I look sometime at things. I picked it up because I was looking at the color and I said, oh, that's really pretty. And for the price, I think it was four, four something. And that was on Senior's Day, so I got it for less than that. So that was a good price. So anyway, this is like a collector's uh, item from Clarice Cliff uh, collection. But her pieces are really nice and really colorful. I find that they're uh, beautiful. 
Yeah, I don't really find anything. I see one little tiny dot of paint that might have got missed when it was painted, but really small, but it's beautiful. And it's in uh, excellent condition. It's got the pink, pink, uh, it's got pink on it and blue and green, a little bit of yellow and it, it's just, I don't know, it's just, you can tell that it's a, a really nice, uh, nice made piece. So Clarice Cliff. And then I also found this cute little, um, cute little, uh, figurine out on my travels and this is um this is supposed to be a joseph original it does say japan on the bottom and um this has a, a green stone because i think these are birthstone um figurines but i think the emerald would be august but I, I looked these up and looked these up. I couldn't find one with a blue dress with a green um, stone in it. So I thought maybe this, maybe the stone got misplaced and someone stuck a stone in there. But I don't know for sure. I thought maybe somebody put the stone in there, that color. Or maybe they found it and wanted to give this to someone in August. Uh, or, or that birthday stone and then... But I don't know for sure. I, I guess it, it does have a little sticker on it that does say Joseph Original on it. I think it says Joseph Original. I know it says Joseph. Yeah, Joseph Original. I think that says Original. Joseph. And it's Mark Japan on the bottom. So it's a pretty little item. I had some of these before and I sold them both i had two and i found this one and there's no chips or cracks or anything on this she hasn't been broken and glued back together like you see most of them like i even seen one was so bad one day in the store and they still had like 6.99 on it was broken glued back together the glue was all brown on it you know it wasn't worthwhile you know anything it wasn't worth anything so they should have just thrown it out, but like I said, of course, they still put a price on it and want people to buy it. You got to be really desperate if you want to buy that broken like that with the old brown glue showing on it. But this is a really cute little one, and uh, this uh, doesn't have any chips or cracks, which is amazing. It's like I said, most of them you do find. They do have a chip or a crack, or they were broke the arms or head or something, the neck, and glued back together. So that's supposed to be a Joseph original. Then I found this beautiful dish. This this is just a beautiful, a beautiful piece of glass. It fans out. It's it, like a like a fan. It's really nice. It's just clear glass. It's got a little like frosted, you know, texture to it. It's really nice. Like a big flower or something, but it's nice. And but this is marked on the bottom, has this diamond shaped bottom. And um, this says Wedgwood on the bottom. I, at first, I thought it said Waterford, but it's Wedgwood. It does have Wedgwood on the bottom of this. And it's a beautiful, beautiful dish, a beautiful display, you know, piece really made nice and and all the points that are on it they are in excellent condition there's no chips or cracking on it it's really good condition it is really good condition it's beautiful It's a really nice, uh, nice made piece. Whoever made it, it says Wedgwood on it, um, engraved in it. So that's all I know about. It. And I couldn't find a piece like it. I looked it up. I looked Wedgwood. I couldn't find one of those. Couldn't find anything. And I also got this uh, beautiful green, um, beautiful green pitcher. I think this is about seven inches in height or six and a half. 
seven. Yeah, about six and almost seven inches in height. It's a nice, beautiful green. That's just a piece of a. Uh, that had something wrapped in it. They put that when I bought something in the store that they threw the little figurines in that, which was nice of them, wrapped it up. So this was still got the tag on $2 for this picture. But it's in uh, beautiful green. doesn't glow. But I thought it was just a nice, just a nice, um, Nice green picture with, uh, I don't know if that's an applied handle. No markings on the bottom. It's probably a more modern piece, but it's just pretty. Pretty to display. And it's got weight to it. It's, it's got weight. Then I got some cute little, uh, two little, um, chickens, salt and pepper, with their stoppers. They do have their stoppers, and these are cute. These are ceramic. This one, this one. This one has the, the red under here. I, was, I thought it might have been a rooster. This one has the red underneath it, underneath the, the beak. But this one doesn't. And then this one, the tail is up higher. The feather thing, whatever you call that, is up higher on that one. So there is a difference in them, but they're, they are salt and pepper shakers. No maker's marks on them. But they're in good condition. Not chipped or cracked or anything, which you find a lot of. And then I have another little chicken um, chicken set. This is salt and pepper. When I bought this, the lady thought that uh, they had their stoppers in them. Wait, now that one does. This is, yeah, they both have their stoppers. She thought that the set didn't go together, but she said, well, when I picked it up, these were together like this, but when I took it up to pay for it, she goes, oh, I don't think those salt and pepper shakers go with this, but I'll, I'll put it together with it anyway, but I think they do go with it. But maybe she was right, maybe they don't, I don't know. But they look like they go with it. So, so I told her this was two dollars too. I said that's the way I picked it up with the salt and pepper shaker sitting on it like that, you know. So she goes, "Oh, okay, I'll just put that together then." I said, "Well, I don't know. I couldn't tell you if it really goes together, but that's the way it was when I picked it up." So it's got the mother chicken here on there. There's no markings on it that I saw. I don't think they had anything underneath that sticker. Nope. No markings. Just a little set. Salt and pepper. I find I've been finding a lot of salt and pepper shakers lately but only one of each like you can't get mates to them you know it's no good you want mates then i found this little container with buttons in it i took it because i can always you know fill it up with more buttons i got lots of buttons so this is what was in it a lot of buttons in it Lots of buttons in it, so I took it. And a few needles and some elastic and a little uh, needle threader. So you can always use buttons for something, you know. If something always comes up, you can use buttons for cushions or, you know, making pillow covers. 
just for crafting and stuff. You know, they always come in handy. It's always good to have buttons. One time I used to throw clothes away and didn't even think, didn't even think about taking the buttons off of them, you know, and then after years later, after I started seeing all this stuff, it was like, oh my gosh, I should have, I should have took the buttons off of the, the stuff, but now, if I was throwing something in the garbage, if it was no good, I do take the buttons off, but if I'm giving it, you know, to a charity, I leave the buttons on, but, you know, I, I know now to keep the buttons, and I thought this was really cute, it's just a small little, uh, Small little Yankee candle. And it's called Wild Seagrass. This is still brand new. It's, it, it's not burnt or anything. It still has that little, uh, you know, the little uh, thing on it when you, when you buy it. It's called Wild Seagrass. It does smell good. So it's a Yankee candle, little one. I know they were they they put these um, prices on these Yankee can, Yankee candles really heavy now, you know, high. The larger Yankee candles, which, you know, I don't know why they decided to put the price so high. They're not really worth anymore. But this is a cute little one, so I. I said I'll take it, you know, if I can't use it, somebody can. There's always someone out there that can use things, you know. And this is a cute little um set. It's a hors d'oeuvre set, I guess. You got your little forks here, strawberries. There's six little hors d'oeuvre uh, forks. And a little container, a little strawberry that they said in. This is, has no markings or anything on it. But it's just resin or something like that. But it's, I thought it was so cute. Looked nice on a counter or, you know, when you're having a party. Set on the table. Strawberries are so colorful. And this is nice. Make you hungry when you see strawberries. And then I found these little, uh, I find these and I pick them up because they're good to put in boxes for gifts and stuff. This is a cute little tea uh, bag holder. This is made in Taiwan. It's cute with the strawberries on it. And these are just two little, uh, two little plates I found. You can hang these on the wall because they do have the hole in it to put a string in it to hang it or a wire. Um... I think they're made in Japan. You yeah, can see that faintly. Fine ceramic. They are ceramic. They're made in Japan. They have a number on it. And they're really cute. This one's cute. Um, the woman's on a hammock and he's holding her, holding the other side of the hammock on his neck. I don't know. It's cute little comic things. They're little comic plates. So there's two of these. Cute little trinket dishes, you know, they're cute. And those are good for giveaways, you know. And this one broke his leg, he was skating. And the guy is uh, taking him, uh, the ambulance guy, he's got a cross on his arm. It's cute though. So I picked those little things up, same as this, like these are nice for giveaways. This is a little pin cushion pink elephant. Japan. So these are cute. And the store I go to, when I do go to it, the, the things are only, uh, like, these are only 50 cents and, you know, sometimes 25 cents, uh, uh, 75 cents, dollar. So I just pick through stuff that's any good and I you know, take them out. So this is a little Mickey Mouse, but this is a, this can hang on a, probably on a Christmas tree because it's got a little thing here to put a, a, a hook in or a piece of string. So it's just a little Mickey Mouse. And 
And then these two little ones, this is just a little, uh, this says Jamboree USA. Could be used for a nice uh, toothpick holder. Little uh, blue, little blue trim gold uh, mug. And then this is a cute little green bottle. This one says Jameson, John Jameson. J.J. John Jameson. And whatever it is, it's uh, John Jameson's son and son something limited. It says one ounce on it, so it's some type of little bottle, no lid on it or anything, but it's just a little, you'd always use that for a toothpick holder too. So those are just little things I pick up sometimes because, you know, people can use them. They're good to, for the prices. I mean, you can't go wrong by picking them up. And this is a cute little uh, tortoise glass look. Um, I guess maybe votive candle holder, tea light. I don't know. It's got nothing on the bottom of it, but I don't know what you'd really use this one thing for. It's only one. There's no chips or cracks. It's really uh, pretty. No markings on it, but it's heavy. It's thick. With the amber and the, the tortoise look. And this here is a nice little piece too. It's a, it's a, heavy too this has weight to it too but this um this was a dollar fifty it's a it's an ashtray with a, a scenery inside it's got a picture inside this is wood and it's got the hand painted uh flowers on it and this says I don't know, Conca or Conca del Tessino, Tessino, but it's really nice, uh, it's in, you know, the, has the wood, then it is, has the, uh, in, the glass insert. And you could use it for, like, a little trinket dish or a planter, plant holder, or nice so that's what it looks like i don't know sometimes if i'm moving this stuff too fast and then i found these which are good to pick up sometime these um these uh wax melts because they're getting very expensive so i had a couple packages of these i already gave some away and they can't come in these bags and then i got what I got left is this one. They smell really good. This one's apple cinnamon. I gave a couple packages of these away and two out of that. And then this one is Scentsy. This is the Scentsy wax. And it smells good. This one is Mocha Doodle. Mocha Doodle. This one's called Mocha Doodle. That's full. Scentsy. Then I got another Scentsy. And this one is called Tea Party. And it smells really good. Beautiful smell. Those things are expensive nowadays, these wax melts. I do have a Scentsy. I might... Put one of these in with the Scentsy. Uh, I do have a Scentsy that I already got on my store for sale, but I don't know red to send uh, candles and stuff because you don't know if they're, well, it's getting cooler now, so they could make it there, you know, according to how far it's going. I don't like to really send candles because I don't know if they're going to melt before they get to where they're going in this heat. And then this is a cute carved, uh, it's wood, carved wood uh, with a, uh, a branch and an aisle sitting on it.
It was really nice, a nice little uh, ornament. And this was $3, this one. So that wasn't too bad for that nice little carved, uh, carved wooden owl. And on the bottom of it, it says handcrafted, and it's by Arthur Jellico. Handcrafted by Ar Arthur Jellico. So that's really, uh, really cute. And then these are just some little um, stickers I picked up. Those were 75 cents, those stickers. Little stickers, everyone will love your beautiful creations. You know, you can put them on your cards when you send in um, cards out. And these are cat, like got to do with cat. Cat, dish cat, says fat cat, cat nap, pretty kitty, perfect, frisky feline, meow. And it's got a basket full of cats and yeah, just some stickers. And then there's some more, um, these ones are, these are Halloween ones. So there's a bunch of these on here. These ones were from 2004. And these are 2003, I think. Yeah, these ones are from 2003. And these ones are from 2004 Halloween, um, Halloween stickers. So there's one package. This is just one package here. No, two package. Three packages of them. So these were 75 cents for these. Nice Halloween stickers. So there's three packages. They're all the same, the packages, but I mean, to get three in there. The by Karen Foster design, 2004. Then, there's some other little Halloween little things in there. Anyway, those are nice to to have or give to kids, you know. Give to the kids. And then I got these few things. Oh, I got this. This is a, because I got some more of these. I was just going to add this to the group that I got. It's a metal vase. Like a bronzy color with the gold. It's like bronzy with the gold on it. Like, cute. They look good in a group when you have a group of vases sometimes instead of one. Then I thought these were really cute. This is two, um, two tiles I came across. And they've got like little pumpkin faces on them. Little pumpkin faces. These are called from the habitat uh, made in China. I don't know if it's uh, from a habitat place or something. But they're really pretty, the orange and the, the so there's two of these. So 
I picked these up on Seniors Day. Sometimes the little senior discounts come in handy because boy oh boy. Boy oh boy. When you go on a regular day, it's it's uh it's pretty expensive, you know, so you really need those little discounts. They may not be much, but they come in handy. And then when you take um when you take some things there, you get a 20% off coupon each time you take that's to uh, value village and I got this beautiful linen um, linen tablecloth and it's in excellent condition this is you know one of the vintage uh, vintage tablecloth beautiful it's got the fruits on it and you know the juice pitcher and a little teapot and or some type of stuff but anyway it's pretty i i like it it's the vint it's real vintage looking and it's in really good condition for its age i don't know what the age is but it's probably really uh got age to it but whoever had it kept it in really good condition colors are really nice but and you know it's hardly any staining on it I don't see a lot of staining or anything and yeah whoever had this must have kept it in really really great condition you can tell it was well uh, it's almost like they put starch in it ironed it up really good they put the iron to it and kept it in good condition and it's linen but it's beautiful. I, I like these kind of uh, tablecloth. I don't know if it'll fit this table I'm sitting at. It looks like it might be just a little too small, but it's beautiful. I'm going to have to get the measurements of it. I don't really know the measurements yet. And that was only $3 for that linen, vintage linen tablecloth. That's a good buy on that. And I also got... Um, Found this um. Found this uh pioneer woman, pot out the other day. One day when I was out. And it's so colorful, I didn't really buy it to use. I just bought it to uh, for display purposes because I thought it was just so pretty. Got the green. I think this top goes to it is green with the same kind of flowers. The inside's really good. It wasn't too bad inside. It doesn't have any, uh, you know, wear from, you know, sometimes you see the rust shine coming through and stuff. It doesn't have that. It does say Pioneer Woman on the back. But I thought it was so pretty. And for the price, you know, you can't beat it under $4 for a, a Pioneer pot. I did go to Walmart just recently. I wanted to look to see um, how much these went for, like if they had them in the in the store because one time a long time ago I did see these in the store in Walmart they do have a few little items left of pioneer women items but they didn't have no pots no pioneer woman pots I did see these before but I'm not even sure if I looked at the prices because I you know didn't think about buying them but I thought that one time I bought a I could have swore I bought the tea kittle pioneer woman and I put it away, but I don't know if I did for sure or not. I gotta look around and see. Cause I said I'll get it just in case I want. I could have swore I bought a Pioneer Woman tea kettle. I have to look around and see if I did buy one. But anyway, I just thought this was so pretty. The green, um, you can't go wrong with it. it it's beautiful. It's so pretty. You know, this is the bottom part is white with the pretty flowers on it, and and um, then you got your lid. But I didn't see any um, any in Walmart. They had a few Pioneer, uh, you know, bowls and stuff. And I do have a Pioneer set of dishes that I had bought for me one Christmas, but one of the bowls got broke, and I've been. I went to Walmart anyway one other time trying to find a, a, a bowl, like to replace the bowl that got broke. 
but I couldn't find any bowls either. Any of the bowls I need. But anyway, that's the Pioneer pot that I found, which, you know, I thought was really nice. And, um, and I even got, uh, I even found this for it. Like, I thought this was a real, I only took it because, I mean, for $5 for one of these, I mean, you can't go wrong for the price of it. The rotary phone. I wish I could have found it in a nice green would have been nice. Green or even yellow. You know, those colors from back in the day. But this is in really excellent condition. I don't know if it works or not, but it looks like it might work. It's got the cord and everything on it. It's got the cord and all that. And uh, I couldn't leave it for, for $5. Oh, my God, because every time I see one, Every time I do see one, like in a, in, you know, in a thrift store, they've got 30 and $40 on them. And I don't buy them for that price. I do have one of these, but it's in the, it's the, it's the touch, touch tone. It's not the, not the rotary. I like the rotary ones. Remember the sound of that, eh? But this is a nice one. It's in really good condition. Excellent condition. So I don't know what I'm really going to do with it. But uh, it's... Yeah. For, you know, if it had been more than, you know, $5, I wouldn't have bought it. But for that price, I just... I, I couldn't leave it. I, I couldn't believe that it was, you know, that cheap. So I said, uh, I've got to take it, you know, for that. Might be somebody out there that still collects these. I know there's a lot on the market of these anyway, but sometimes they're going for higher prices, you know. But I got it. I took it for that price. I didn't think you could go wrong. And then I got this uh, this uh, double decker bread box. Took this bread box. It's got the, the bottom part and then the roll up, the roll up top part. And it says bread here and bakery down here, but this one is a little messed up. The blue is messed up on the, on the letter, so it has to be fixed or... So this is in really great condition except for the... Uh, the blue messed up on the on the letter. That's the only thing wrong with it. But it's a really nice. It's a nice uh, bread box. Not old old, but it reminds you of the old style. But it's cute, you know. It's cute. So I got that there, and then I took. Um, I don't have a lot of things to show today. And I got this. I, well, I found these, and I thought these were good, nice outdoor cushions, or indoor. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I had to take them. For, for four night. there's four um, sunflower. I got four sunflower cushions. They were $4.99, but they were less than $4.99 because I got them on Senior's Day. So there's four of them attached together. And I took those, and they're all in really good condition, clean and everything. So I just think they're so pretty, the sunflower. So four of them, I don't know exactly how much they go for, but, you know, I thought for that price you can't go wrong. I got them inside this bag, but anyways, they're nice, and they got their ties on them. And they're beautiful sun, sun, uh, sunflower cushions. And it looks nice when you decorate with yellow. You know, it brightens your, brightens your day up, brightens your house. A little bit of yellow here and there and green. So, but that was really nice. Can't go wrong with that. Then I found this beautiful, um, I keep saying and then and then and then <laughs> gotta stop saying that. And I also found this um 
beautiful little uh, casserole dish. In its, and it has the silver, uh, you know, casing with it. This is only small, but I like the I like it small like that. It's easier, you know. Someone bought it to ship it. Inside the thing, it stands. Um, it's five inches in height, but in long long ways, it would be with the handles. It's about a about a, eleven inches, eleven and a half inches, you know long ways it's got the little ball feet on it it's got the the lid I gotta clean the tape off of there it's got the lid and this says Phoenix made in England so this is made by Phoenix the Phoenix company I guess it says Phoenix on it and and it has the other part cute little dish It's really good to find it with the cover and everything. Sometimes you don't find these with the cover, but this one is really cute. It's nice and dainty, nice and small. And it came in its little, the little uh, silver metal um, casing. Then it says, um, this says Celtic. I think it says Celtic quality plate. Made in England. So this was made in England and it sets in its little, you know, nesting dish, basket, whatever you want to call it. It's really cute. And it is. What's that saying? It's got different numbers on it or something. OSD, I think. 310L. Or 510 liter or something like that, whatever it's saying. OSD. And then on this, you now there's still something on there on the handle. It's the same thing. But anyway, it's it's a cute little um cute little dish. A nice little find. It's got a little um it's got a little bit of something in the glass here that I don't think comes out. I don't know what that is. Looks like it was in there when the glass was made or something. It's not broke or anything. I don't know what it is. It's right here. But it has a little symbol on here and it says Phoenix. And it says um, made in England. So this was made back in the, back in the uh, maybe 30s, 40s, something like that. See something. Let's see. Yes, the made in England by Phoenix Glass Company in the nineteen thirties. I thought I had that written down there somewhere. Yeah, it's so it's a Phoenix Glass Company, but it's really um, it's it's a really nice little uh, casserole dish. Or just display this, or for someone that collects that, you know, type of um item. And then everybody, I think I'm down to my last item. Like Tanya Tucker said, I'm down to my last teardrop. <laughs> so anyways, this is, um, oh, and I, I'll show you these. 
before I show that. I've got some little, I collected these one time. I like these little, uh, they look like little pumpkins. I used to just call them little pumpkins, but they're little apples. You know, just homemade pieces somebody must have made. They're cute for display, but you could put them out with your pumpkins. They would look nice. And uh, in this little basket that came, there's some little apples and stuff in it. But I just keep it just in case I use it. If not, somebody might can use it. So anyway, my last item today is going to be this, which was a nice, nice little item I found too. It's one of those um, TV lamp. The vintage uh, TV, TV lamp. You can call it a chuck wagon or um, chuck wagon or a, a or just a covered wagon, and it's nice. It's got the um, what they call the top of that. Okay, it's like a fiberglass shade. It's a fiberglass shade. It's got the, the uh, cord on it. I'm going to plug this in, but what I have to do is get up and go around. Sorry for that, everybody. without moving the phone. Be right with you, everybody. Just plugging this thing in. Try not to knock the phone over at the same time. Okay. But this is really cute. It's like the bottom of it's ceramic. And I put a light bulb in it. The light bulb is like an orangey color. And this is ceramic. It's got four wheels on it. And there's the switches here. But this is one of those old... Uh, things they used years ago, the TV lamps. And on the bottom it says, um, bo boos, bo bo boozy wear, booze wear, boozy wear, how do you say that? Made in Canada and anyway, boze wear, or boze, bozy wear or something like that. B-E-A-U-C-E-W-A-R-E, -E wear Canada. And that says L-924. And it's in really great condition. For any vintage lovers, you know, for people that like the older look. I was just watching a program earlier. It was showing all the old, all the items from back in the 70s, 60s, 70s. And, oh, it was just amazing. The colors that, uh, the colors that, you know, all the, the furniture and the lamps and the wallpaper and the floor covering and all that kind of stuff was beautiful. Um... You know, you don't see a lot of them bright colors anymore. People don't tend to have those bright colors. I like them. I mean, I try to keep some color, even though it never looks like it. When you look on my videos, it doesn't look like I have much color, but I got color here and there. I put a little bit here and there, mix it in, you know. One day I'm going to do a tour and let everybody see. But, um... Yeah, so I thought this was really cute anyway. You know, I had these nice little light bulbs I put in it. And it lights up really nice. You can put a lighter bulb in it or you can put red or blue, whatever color, you know, you like. I just had this one handy, so that's the one I put in. And um, it, uh, it's nice. So anyways, everybody, I hope you 
greatly um, enjoyed this uh, this show today and I hope you'll watch many more to come appreciate everybody for being there and subscribing and liking and sharing the videos appreciate it very much um, so anyways hope everybody's starting to get yourself ready for the colder months that are coming you know it, it's they're coming I couldn't believe how cold it went uh, last night it went down to eight and that was pretty cold from you know from what we're used to but anyways time to start cooking the soups and stews and you know all the warm foods making some baked breads and buns and stuff but, but anyways everybody thank you very much Appreciate everyone, and um, don't forget to uh, follow us on our whatnot uh, auctions. Appreciate it. Appreciate all those who do uh, watch and follow, and all those who purchased items. Thank you very much, and I hope everybody by now got all their items that they purchased before. And um, it's nice to do these videos and. Right now, the sun came out nice and bright and sunny, so I think it's going to turn out a, a beautiful day. So anyways, everyone, you have yourself a great day, and um, take care of yourselves. And yes, we will come back and do this again, so thank you very much, and 